The Potter voice panels have five LEDs on the DMR, which will help guide you through typical troubleshooting processes. Upon normal conditions, all LEDs will remain off besides LED 2, which is green and means the system is in a normal status. If the system is activated upon an alarm condition, LED 3 will illuminate red, indicating an alarm, while the green LED will modulate. What this means is that the intensity of the green LED will vary upon the level of the broadcast or if the mic is keyed, the green LED will dim. If a fault or trouble exists on the system, then the green LED will flash while the yellow LED number one remains illuminated. The number of flashes by the green LED is a type of code which will tell you the specific type of fault. During a fault condition with the Potter panel, the context which the fire alarm control panel is monitoring will open, indicating the fault to the panel which will provide enunciation. If at any time you have a ground fault on the PVX system, LED4 will illuminate yellow. In addition to the green LED flashing upon a trouble condition, an audible tone will be sounded at the voice panel. If the yellow LED is on and the green LED flashes once, this will represent an AC power trouble. You will want to measure the voltage input on the transformer on terminal block 1, terminals 1 and 2, which should read between 24 and 32 volts AC or DC. If the yellow LED is on and two flashes appear on the green LED, then you have an open speaker circuit and it does not detect the end of line resistor value. If no zone splitter is installed, you will need to use your own meter to read for a 10K end of line resistor on the speaker circuit wiring on terminal block 1, terminals 5 and 6. If a zone module is present, then you will need to refer to the LEDs on the zone module to determine which speaker circuit is open. LED 5 on the zone module is for circuit 1, LED 7 is for circuit 2, LED 9 is for circuit 3, and LED 10 is for circuit 4. If the yellow LED is on and the green LED flashes four times, then a speaker circuit is shorted. Using an ohm meter, check for 10K of resistance on the speaker circuit wiring, terminals block one, terminals five and six. If the value is not 10K, verify that a reference end of line resistor is not being used prior to troubleshooting further. If a reference EOL is being utilized, then that value should match the speaker circuit resistance. If the yellow LED is on and the green LED flashes six times and LED four is on, then you have a ground fault on this system, which would require following typical ground fault troubleshooting techniques. If the yellow LED is on and the green LED flashes six times and the LED four is off, then a trouble exists on an accessory device, such as a remote microphone or loss of communication with an accessory card, such as the SL8, IL8, or OL8 cards. Another reason for this trouble would be if there was an attempt to modify the voice message. If the yellow LED is on and the green LED flashes eight times, then you have a trouble condition with the amplifier. Typically an internal condition and not a field condition. At times a faulty microphone could cause this problem. To determine if it's the microphone, you will need to unplug the microphone and turn dip switch eight on bank S1 to the off position, which will turn off microphone supervision. If the trouble clears, then the microphone will need to be replaced, but if the trouble persists, then the amp or the DMR will need to be replaced. If the yellow LED is on and the green LED flashes 16 times, then you have a microphone trouble on your system. Typical problems that exist with the microphone is either that it's unplugged or dip switch 8 on bank 1 is in the wrong position. If the yellow LED is on and the green LED flashes 32 times, it means you have a battery trouble. Make sure you check the batteries to ensure that they are at the proper voltage. Also, verify that dip switch 7 on switch bank 1 is in the on position when batteries are installed and in the off position when batteries are not installed. Thank you for watching Potter's training video on the PVX voice panels. If you need additional assistance, please don't hesitate to contact tech support or email tech support at the number or email address shown on the screen. And always don't forget to follow us on social media.